HANA credit. It's the analytical credit data set. It's uh, a high priority requirement that's come out of the European Central Bank. Uh, we first became aware of it around about February 2014. Um, it basically is going to require highly granular data with respect to credit uh, offered by both to individuals and also to corporates. This is going to have to be reported to uh, your national regulators and will basically form the basis of some consolidation across credit registers. The aim of ANA Credit is um, to allow the European Central Bank to harmonise the national credit registers that currently exist uh, within the different Eurozone countries. Clearly, there's a lot of harmonisation of very granular data that needs to be reflected in these credit institutions. And this data actually needs to be looked at both at a corporate level in terms of credit lines and also at the individual level as well. The real aim and objective of this exercise is to, for the European Central Bank to understand the credit risks which the credit institutions are actually taking with respect to individuals and also to corporates. The impact on credit institutions is going to be quite dramatic. Um, the number of parameters which potentially the, uh, they will have to report on is going to increase to about 150 different credit attributes and parameters on a loan-by-loan -loan basis, which is quite different from what uh, institutions are reporting at this moment in time. In addition to that, the threshold has been reduced from 1.5 million euros down to ultimately 25,000 euros. What this will mean is that the content is going to be increased quite dramatically on the reports which credit institutions will have to produce. The ANA Credit timetable is uh, the first reports are due on the 1st of January 2018 based upon 2017 data and there will be subsequent uh, releases of ANA Credit reports that come out in 2018 and 2019. However, um, we have learnt that the central banks of Luxembourg, Belgium and Austria are keen to bring forward these reporting dates and we understand that the, their reporting dates are going to be the 1st of January 2017 based upon data collected in 2016.